Hello, and welcome to Washington University's Celebration of Black History Month, sponsored by the Brown School. My name is Jenny Harpering, and I'm the Assistant Dean for Field Education and the Assistant Director of the Beyond Boundaries Program. I'm going to share a bit with you about the life of James Baldwin. Social observer, author, playwright, James Baldwin illuminated racism and social injustice and presented uncomfortable truths about life in America. Born and raised in Harlem, Baldwin was recognized by teachers as gifted early in his education. When he was 10 years old, he wrote a play that was directed by a teacher at school. While he was, by his own admission, smart, he disliked school because of the racism he experienced there. After high school, he moved to New Jersey to work in the defense industry where he continued to experience racial slurs. When his father, who had not been a champion of his writing, passed away, he decided to pursue writing full-time and moved to Greenwich Village. After supporting himself with odd jobs, he met author Richard Wright, who helped him secure a fellowship in 1945. Despite the financial freedom to write and successfully publishing in distinguished periodicals, he found the social dynamics of the United States stifling and was not able to finish his novel. In 1948, at age 24, he moved to Paris with funding from a Rosenwald Fellowship. Moving to France was pivotal in Baldwin's writing career. In an interview with the New York Times, Baldwin said, once I found myself on the other side of the ocean, I could see where I came from very clearly. And I could see that I carried myself, which is my home, with me. You can never escape that. And I am the grandson of a slave, and I'm a writer, and I must deal with both. He wrote for prolifically novels, essays, plays, often referred to as prof a prophetic writer. Both his fiction and nonfiction offers social commentary and observations on culture and life. His novels addressed issues of race and homosexuality, and his essays discussed the social issues of the day. At 29, Baldwin shook the American consciousness with the prescient Stranger in the Village, where he spelled out the dangers of what is now called American exceptionalism. Quotes from his writing about living in a white world often read like they could have been written today in response to police violence against young black men or systemic racism. Although he lived primarily in France, he never relinquished his United States citizenship and preferred to think of himself as a commuter rather than an expatriate. Baldwin returned to the US in 1957 while the civil rights legislation was being debated in Congress. He wrote several essays on the movement and traveled lecturing about his racial ideology to students and white liberals and others, though he was excluded from many inner circles of the movement due to his sexuality. He returned to France to write. James Baldwin died in 1987 from stomach cancer. His life and writing have left an indelible mark on the world. His essays are often assigned in college courses. His novels and essays are read widely. The documentary about his life was released in 2016. Quotes from his writings are regularly referred to in current essays and articles. James Baldwin, thank you.